signed, sealed, now time to deliver. This will consolidate this great city as a global city, as a global powerhouse. The Prime Minister and Queensland Premier today inking a $7 billion joint deal to help stage the 2032 Olympic and Paralympic Games in the Sunshine State. This is about the future. This is about setting Queensland up. I know, as a Sydney sider, the difference that a Games can make. The federal government will spend $2.5 billion on the Brisbane Arena, a 17,000-seat indoor entertainment venue to host swimming and water polo events. The state will fund the $2.7 billion demolition and rebuild of the Gabba. The 50,000-seat stadium will have improved disability and transport access and host the athletics and major ceremonies. $1.8 billion will go towards upgrading nine existing venues and building five new ones. You'll see more and more events attracted to this great state of Queensland, not just here in the southeast but right throughout the state. Along with the Gabba, the Brisbane Arena will connect to the Cross River Rail, with work on the indoor venue to start in 2027. Anastasia Palaszczuk insists $7 billion will be the final price tag for Olympic infrastructure for the 2032 Games. She also defended a $1.7 billion blowout for rebuilding the Gabba, which was originally set to cost $1 billion. The prices have gone up for uh, commodities and everything and in terms of uh, we're going to be doing the demolition. The stadium will be torn down and rebuilt by 2030. Rachel Rieger, ABC News, Brisbane.